Good evening, everybody, even though it is very clearly the afternoon, and welcome to SGN. John, what is SGN? That's a good question. For years now, I've been wondering, why is there not a news show dedicated entirely to good news? Well, desperately seeking my fix somewhere else, I reached out to all of you this week, asking, nay, begging, for some good news. And boy, did you deliver. After reading those replies and the incredibly heartwarming stories that came with them, I thought, all right, enough is enough, world. Why not us? Why not now? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is your fault, and this is SGN. If you've been watching YouTube at all during this global quarantine, then you'd know about John Krasinski's show, Some Good News. Millions have been watching the star from the comfort of his home office, sharing, yes, you guessed it, some good news. So where exactly is his home office located? Well, from what I know, him and his wife Emily Blunt currently live in a $16 million Brooklyn pad. In this video, we'll look at this New York mansion, his Hollywood Hills house, and more. John Krasinski is best known for playing Jim on The Office, and he also served as a producer and occasional director on the show. He's a well-known actor and filmmaker who's received a handful of awards over the years. Besides everything we know John for most recently, he's gaining recognition for his news show, which is clearly a hit. His YouTube series, Some Good News, is dedicated to sharing good news amidst the worldwide pandemic. He claims he's always wondered why there wasn't a news channel for positive things, and now he's the one to bring us heartwarming stories. Yes! Is this working? <laughs> Even indoors, in the weird world of isolation, good news was happening everywhere. Thank you, man. So nice to meet you! Nice to meet you too. Oh my God, this is such an exciting honor for me. You are my newest and biggest hero. And on a personal note, this week actually brought a whole lot of good news because it marked 15 years since this haircut was born. There are stories about the support cities around the world have been showing for healthcare workers, homeowners leaving gifts for delivery drivers on the porch, and much more. Definitely an uplifting break from the intense news that's been hitting us recently. John's channel just started on March 25th, 2020, and he already has over 34 million views and almost 2 million subscribers. At the time of this recording, John is 40 years old and resides in Brooklyn Heights with his wife, actress Emily Blunt, and they have two daughters. His net worth is at an estimated 30 mil, and that doesn't even include his wife's income. It's no wonder the couple has such a beautiful home. Hey guys, it's Karen, today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at the Brooklyn spot John Krasinski calls home with his family, where he films some good news from and much more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified we post. You can always be up to date. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified we post. You can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Gordon Ramsay and Eminem, and we'll have links to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Before we take a look at the impressive New York family home John shares with his fam, we'll look at his previous place in the Hollywood Hills. Interestingly enough, this place was sold to none other than Kendall Jenner when the couple was done with it. John and Emily bought this contemporary mansion back in 2009 for only $1.5 million according to sources, and it was located in the celebrity-filled area of Hollywood Hills West. By the time Kendall purchased the property, the home was sold for about $6.5 million, so John made a pretty penny. John's previous mansion was 4,800 square feet of living space and spread over three floors. There were six beds and five baths, and the lot was almost 16,000 square feet too. There were plenty of areas in the home to relax with friends and family, like dens and living rooms. One was really cozy with a brick fireplace. There was also a formal dining room and gourmet kitchen, of course. And if John preferred to entertain outdoors, the mansion came complete with a full rooftop deck. It's so big you could host your entire party up there. Not to mention the gorgeous views of the hills in LA. The master suite he shared here with Emily came with an ensuite, massive walk-in closet, and even a dressing area. A lot of the rooms in the home also had floor-to-ceiling windows and sliding doors to take advantage of the surroundings. Other features of John and Emily's Hollywood house included a massage slash Pilates room and long swimming pool outside with tanning deck all around. Despite the years they enjoyed this place, they sold it in 2016. Kendall Jenner lived here for basically no time at all before a scary stalker situation forced her to sell and move to a spot with heavier security. John, on the other hand, moved his family to the east side. John clearly wanted a change, so him, Emily, and the kids moved to New York. If you're wondering, they currently live in the new building, the Standish in Brooklyn. They actually own the entire 
eighth floor. According to Six Square Feet, designed by Frank S. Lowe and built in 1903, the Standish is a 12-story bow arts building that originally served as a 122-key hotel. It was converted in 2007 into 90 rental units and then in 2015, after DDG and Westbrook Partners acquired the property for $60 million, the building was converted into 29 condo apartments. Their apartment is located in Brooklyn Heights on a tree-lined street, Columbia Heights. John lived in another house prior, but in 2019, the couple finally moved into the celebrity-friendly building after buying the real estate in 2018. John actually bought two neighboring condos, creating a full-floor unit, and apparently it cost over $11 million to purchase. Their specific units weren't publicly listed, so the interior photos and info are limited, but another comparable full-floor unit just like theirs had over 5,000 square feet, so you get the idea. Brooklyn Heights is a posh residential area along the East River that hosts gorgeous views of Manhattan and the Statue of Liberty, so you already know John can see it all from their condo. They're also just a short trip into the heart of New York City. The Standish is a building that offers some of the best celebrity privacy around, which is no doubt essential to John and his fans. The building features a laid-back environment to live where locals can go to coffee shops and nearby stores without hassle, and it helps them to avoid paparazzi. Plenty of other celebrities live here, including Matt Damon, who bought a condo in the building around 2018, costing him over 16 mil. Other stars that live close by include Paul Giamatti, Daniel Craig, Olivia Wilde, and more. Pics you can see from the same full floor unit in the Standish give us a pretty good idea what John's place would look like. The residence's interiors are designed by the studio Atelier Armbruster and include a lot of natural light, bay windows, and high ceilings. John's apartment also offers a custom kitchen with Bertazzoni and Bosch appliances, as well as brass fixtures. The bathrooms have rain showers, marble and mosaic accents, and freestanding tubs in some of them. I would assume the couple has about four or five bedrooms as well, including an expansive master suite all to themselves and rooms for the girls. Not to mention, we know what John's office looks like, so he uses that space for filming his new show. The building itself offers great amenities like a 24-hour doorman, a concierge, a full fitness center, children's playroom, Room and a bike room. Not to mention the Standish also has a landscape rooftop terrace with wraparound city, river, and harbor views. Unfortunately, not much else is known about the individual units in the building, including John's, so we'll have to leave the rest to our imaginations unless he shows off more of the place. In case you're wondering, there was a place John and Emily lived in between the Hollywood Mansion and their current place, which was also in Brooklyn. This townhome was in Park Slope, another area of Brooklyn which is slightly more down to earth. It's a mix of Indian young professional vibes, apparently, and was formerly known as South Brooklyn. John purchased this home for six million in 2016 when they first put it on the market. The couple was asking eight mil. In 2018, they ended up selling the gorgeous townhouse for 6.5 million. At the time, they couldn't justify owning it since they were trapped so much. But then they got their current spot at the Standish. Anyways, their previous house was 5,200 square feet of living space spread across four floors and had seven beds and 3.5 baths. It was built back in 1909 and actually had a lot of the original details, such as the stained glass windows, built-in leaded glass cabinets, detailed floors and moldings, and some of the paneling. John and Emily still had renovations done, but kept the French Renaissance revival style. In fact, they allegedly invested 300 k into the home. I personally love this place and the mix of classic and modern features is super elegant. John had said about the place, The house is so special, someone who can spend every night there should have it. The master bathroom with the stained glass skylight was by far my favorite. The home was multi-level with a large floor in the garden level dedicated to the family room. The couple also had a small yard to sit outside. Among the upgrades John made to the house, he added heated floors and a new kitchen with state-of-the-art appliances, floor-to-ceiling windows, and a skylight that ran the length of the room. So now we've taken a look at John Krasinski's current place he lives at with his family. Although we don't know much about what they've done with their full-floor multi-million dollar apartment at the Standish in Brooklyn, we can get an idea of how fancy it is from the details of the other units. We also saw the couple's previous Hollywood mansion they sold to Kendall Jenner and their four-story townhouse in Brooklyn they also lived at. Honestly, I think John and Emily have great taste from looking at their properties. Okay guys, now we'll read out some comments from previous vids. On our recent Eminem house tour, Shez Girl Rose wrote, Geez, I'd love to have his car collection. Thank you, Kara, for the work you put in to find the info on these houses. Thumbs up all the way. Thanks for your support, I'm happy you like the house tours. On our Blackpink house tour, Sentil said, Amazing and interesting content. 
comment, thank you. And finally on our Paris Hilton house tour, Tracy Ann Edwards commented saying, Paris was the real socialite before Instagram, WhatsApp, Snap, and the list goes on. Real MVP. So true, Tracy Ann, I totally agree. She deserves all the credit. All right, guys, that's all I found on John Krasinski's home. I wish we could see more of his full floor Brooklyn apartment where he clearly is filming some good news, but at least we know what his office looks like. I'm sure the privacy is one of the reasons why the couple loves that building so much. Personally, my favorite house he owned has got to be the Park Slope townhouse. I think it was perfect size and absolutely gorgeous. Not to mention, I love the classic details they kept from the original design. I've always wanted a home with that renaissance look inside. I want to hear from you guys. Which of John's houses did you like the best? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all next time. Bye!